Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to another video tutorial on the secret network. Just three hours ago, the Blockfolio app had an announcement that the secret network has now launched the first private voting app on a public blockchain, and it's launched on the secret mainnet. Now, the token that's being used for governance with the secret network is the CFI token, S-E-F-I. Now, if you haven't watched any of my previous videos on how to uh, stake your SEFI, I've got links down below so that you could take a look at those. But this video is going to cover the migration of your tokens. And you can see across the top here, we've got a banner saying that the tokens are gonna to need to be migrated. And that is what this video tutorial is going to be all about. It's how to migrate those tokens. Now, before I start this video, I should point out that this is not investment advice. I am not an investment advisor. And any information in this video is for entertainment and informational purposes only. Should you construe any such information or other material as legal tax, uh, you should not, I should say, construe any of the information as legal tax, investment, financial, or other device. Nothing contained in this video or on any of my websites constitutes a solicitation, recommendation, or endorsement of any crypto assets. All right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive in here. You can see that it's listed up here. I have 2.12 secret. And so we're probably going to need that, I would assume, to do some transactions here. Let's first go take a look at the earn link here. Now, earn is where you were previously staking the old CFI. And if I was to click on this link, you can see that I should have about 22. And there they are. So I've got 22 CFI that I had earned. And total, I have 2,409. So I'm going to claim, again, out of the old pool, let's go ahead and make that claim. I'm gonna get a pop-up box here, and we'll go ahead and pay the 0.125 SCRT, and that's why it's always a good idea to keep a little secret in your wallet to pay for some of these transactions. So let me go ahead and click Approve, and we should be able to claim this, and it should show up here any second now. Uh, and again, the process is very straightforward in terms of how we're going to do this. And uh, the secret team has made it very, very simple. You can see right up here, we've got the alert claim 22.017856 CFI governance tokens. And let's go ahead. I'm going to refresh here real quickly. And let's see what we've got. Again, I'm going to click down here on the old we can take a look at the staked amount is still 2409. And here it is, earn on the new pool. So migrate your tokens here. So I've claimed all the tokens from the old pool that I had earned, the CFI tokens. I have a large amount staked right here. And let's go ahead and say migrate my tokens. Now, I'm going to withdraw my tokens from the expired pools. And again, we're presented here with a small 19 cent fee, again, chewing a little bit of our secret up. I'm gonna go ahead and click approve. And that's gonna go ahead and withdraw my CFI tokens out of that expired pool. Now, step two, which we're gonna to get to here in just a second, and we'll give it a moment here to go ahead and complete. And there we go, it removed all 2,409 C5 from my expired pool. Step two, it couldn't be easier. I'm simply gonna earn rewards in new pools. So I'm gonna click on earn. I'm gonna go ahead and submit here. And this is giving me a different contract address that I'm going to need. And if you remember back to when I first started the staking, we had to go ahead and do this. I'm gonna click approve. Transaction is pending. We're gonna wait a second here. All right, congratulations. The contract address has been taken care of. I'm gonna execute the next contract. And we'll give it a second here. And again, these are really small fees when you consider that some of the Ethereum gas fees that you could pay based on whether or not you're in the advanced settings on your MetaMask wallet and adjusting the cost, they can get pretty outrageous. All right, and so you can see right here, 
moved it uh, from, or removed it, I should say. So we had to remove it from the expired pool, and then we had to restake it in the new pool. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look real quick here. Let's drop back over to the, oops, sorry, not the pool screen. Let's go to the earn screen. And I'm gonna go ahead and refresh, and it's actually pretty nice, right? The APY in the new pool is 116%. I think it was earlier this morning, this was only at 63%, so it's almost double what it was. You can see we've got everything out of here. Let's pop over here. And you might have thought, hey, wait a second, you removed 22 uh, and change CFI tokens and those were never added in. Well, here they are. So not only have I reclaimed them, they put them here automagically for me into the new CFI staking pool so that I could have come in, added them in and initially staked these 22, but I wanted to pull all 2,400 over. And now let's go ahead Let's click 100%. We're going to click Earn. And again, we've got a little fee window that's going to pop up here. We're going to get 0.18 secret. I'm going to say Approve. And that is going to push these out of my available CFI token balance, which is over here on the left, into my staked CFI balance. Now, it should go from 2409 to, what would that be, 2431 and change. And as you can see, it's stake the 22.69. Uh, and what do we got going on here? Let's go ahead and refresh. And the website is much more responsive than it was previously. And so we should see that our staked amount has jumped up from 2409 to 2432. So again, if you've been staking CFI in the old pool, it's that easy to not only claim any rewards that you've got, and upon claiming those rewards, they're automatically put into the new pool up here at 116% APY. You can then simply migrate any staked tokens. Again, you're gonna be generating a new contract. You're gonna be pulling them into this new CFI staking pool. Again, they have launched on the, the, the main net. Right, so good news there. And as you can see, we did use up a little secret in order to make that happen. So always a good idea to keep some secret on the side just in case you wanna move things around. All right, well, that is gonna wrap up this video tutorial on how you can claim any existing rewards from the old pool that are automatically put into the new pool and then go ahead and migrate all of your staked CFI from the old pool and get them moved into the new pool and then to go ahead and stake the earnings that you had out of the old pool that showed up in the new pool. All right, 116% APY. Good luck to you out there. I hope you enjoyed the video and happy staking.